Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force has inducted the first unit of four Chinook heavy lift helicopters today. The Chinook is an advanced multi-mission helicopter that will provide Indian Air Force with unmatched strategic airlift capability across the full spectrum of combat and rescue missions. The induction of Chinook helicopters will boost India's capabilities for quick mobilization of troops along with artillery systems, in higher reaches along the line of control and the China frontier. India had cleared the purchase of 22 Apaches and 15 Chinook helicopters worth $2.5 billion from the US in September 2015, and the delivery of Apache helicopters will start in July 2019, and will be completed by March 2020. The Indian Air Force is participating in the Lima 2019 Maritime Aero Expo for the first time, where it will showcase its indigenously developed Tejas light combat aircraft. The Tejas also undertook the final practice session before the opening display for Lima 2019, which is in competition with Russia's Yak-130 for the Malaysian light combat aircraft program. India has sent a delegation of 350 participants to Lima 2019, including the Indian Secretary of Defence Production, for discussions with top defence officials of Malaysia. According to latest reports, a technical problem has prevented the new trials of the indigenous cruise system which was supposed to showcase its new manic engine, and it will be tried again in the next few days. Due to continued delays in the development of land-based variant of the cruise system, the development of ship and air-launched based variants have also suffered delays. The two postponements of India's indigenous subsonic cruise system has also attracted new offers from Russia and the US. Russia was the first to offer its caliber sea-launched cruise system to Indian Navy, and India is likely to be offered a new land-based variant in the near future. US have offered its latest Tomahawk Block 4 cruise system to India, for both anti-ship and land operations. Soon after the President of Taiwan admitted to filing an official procurement plan for 66 F-16 fighter jets to the US government, the Trump administration has reportedly provided the approval to the sale of fighter jets. Meanwhile, China's foreign ministry spokesman criticized the development, saying that China urged the US to stop the military transaction with Taiwan. China had also opposed the recent efforts by India, Japan and United States, to sell submarine technology to Taiwan, saying that the countries are risking their diplomatic relations with China. According to latest reports, the Indian Navy chief has inaugurated a NBC training facility at INS Shivaji, to mark the Platinum Jubilee celebration of the Institute. The Goa Shipyard Limited had started the project in 2016, and this new facility will enhance the Navy's operational capabilities, as it is equipped with modern NBC training simulators, as well as sophisticated laboratories to create real-time training situations. Indian naval ships are already equipped with the necessary equipment to tackle this challenge. According to latest reports, the Indian Space Research Organization is ready to launch an advanced electronic intelligence satellite developed by the DRDO on 1st April, that will be used to sniff out enemy radars and sensors deployed along the border, and help to know the exact topography of areas of adversaries, and find out how many communication devices are active in the area. ISRO will launch the Advanced Electronic Intelligence Satellite along with 28 foreign satellites, including those from the US, Lithuania, Spain and Switzerland, and experimental payloads of Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, which are meant for conducting microgravity tests in space.